Just over a year ago, I watched a film called Rocky, the story of a Philadelphian bum turned boxing legend. The motivational training montage in this film lit a spark in me I hadn't felt before. So not long after, I started boxing. But if you haven't watched the film, here's my version. Nah, it was easy, mate. Expected. Did gag, did get some on the jumper, but so did Rocky. I don't have a dog, but what I do have is Apollo Creed, so let's go get him out of bed. Get on our run. 5k, that's what we're doing. See you there. I actually forgot how beautiful it is to wake up at 4am. No one at all is out here. It's just silence. Let's get on with the, the day. Apollo Creed's arrived. So Sign that. Eat some bushes, bro. He's <laughs> up 4 a.m. Me and that viola. No one else is with the beasts. 6 a.m. Complete. I'm actually surprised my mate Abby woke up like two years ago. That would have been impossible to get him out. Everything you do, good or bad, is gonna reflect on your friends, your family. Stop being the fing weak link in your group. Actually make some progress and bring your friends with you. We're starting off the day with an espresso and a cookie. This is uh, not Rocky's diet, but it's Sylvester Stallone's. In the films, it doesn't actually show what Rocky eats, so yeah. I'm glad I got this cookie to wash it down with. Apparently Sylvester Stallone had cookies throughout the day, as he was normally quite hungry. I'm not very good at this. Go, time to cut some wood. Sunshine ain't no rainbows, kids. So in one of the Rocky films, Rocky actually cuts some wood. So the first exercise we're doing is 16 sets of lumberjack. So this was also a regular training exercise for many heavyweight boxers back in the day, such as Muhammad Ali, Jack Dempsey, and George Foreman, just to name a few. It's said to build strength and increase punching power. There we go, cut all the wood, 16 reps. Definitely improved my technique. So yeah, let's put this inside and have the um, pre-workout meal. Rocky created that, well, me. Almost forgot the most important ingredient I want to try. Dates. Now I've never tried dates. <laughs> Yo, so we have a bit of an advanced breakfast here. It's very similar to Manny Pacquiao's breakfast he has as an actual boxer. I've never actually tried a date, so I'm gonna give these a go now before I dig into the rest and give my honest opinion on it. Honestly, very unique. It's a very grandma-ish snack. How it looks is how it tastes, mother trucker. Demolish that, that was absolutely lovely. Now it's time for the gym set. You know all there is to know about fighting. So there's no sense us going down that same old road again. So what we'll be calling on is good old fashioned blunt force trauma. Let's start building some hurting bombs. I haven't tried chest in time, but whenever I do, I get a huge pump. Look at that. Right, what a brilliant session. I haven't actually hit weights in a while, but that definitely felt good. Anyway, I'm feeling hungry, so let's go and eat some chicken and salad. Sheep!
espresso and chicken. This looks gorgeous. Mmm. It's nice until you eat the veg. Yeah, I'm not huge on my veg. I'm, I've never really liked, liked them too much, but good, healthy, tastes brilliant. There we go. Lunch completed, a bit late, was delicious. Now, I'm gonna let it settle and head back to the gym for a boxing sesh. Two hour boxing sesh, finish off. Once again, we're back in the gym. Gonna do some rocky drills now. Here's Southpaw. So we get to test out our Southpaw once again. So yeah, let's just get into it. I really recommend adding footwork drills to your training as they've definitely helped to improve my movement significantly. You can also see my southpaw has come a long way since I first tried and this is mainly just me using it more and practicing. In sparring I've been switching, forcing me to adapt and has ultimately made me more comfortable in the position. A good tip when you're in southpaw is always move to the right and it will work in your favour when fighting an orthodox fighter. Brilliant session. Time to go home and eat some more food on the exercise for the day. Oh, time to eat this dryness. Bread chicken salad, three dates and a cookie and an espresso. Honestly, this meal is drier than something Joe Fraser would eat, so I'm gonna have to spice it up with a little bit of spice. I know it's not part of the diet, but now that should be 10 times better. Cooked a bit of processed sauce on it. Absolutely destroyed that challenge. Rocky Balboa, thank you for inspiring me to box. They used to call me Danny Pacquiao back in the day, so watch me train like Manny Pacquiao himself.